Hello? Yes. Yes. Doing good, doing good. I can't complain. <laughs> Never mind. What are friends for? Yes. Ah, so that aside, eh? Are you coming for the party? I'm just doing some final touches here and there. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Let me know. Uh -huh. All right. Let me know before tomorrow if you do not mind. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Mm -hmm. Just confirming if you'll be attending. Yes. Oh. You are busy. Yes. Ah, uh, no worries. It is okay. Now, now, now. Hmm? Why can't everyone just give me a conclusive answer for Christ's sake? Hmm? I don't have all the time for this back and forth. This guy is spoiled. Settle down, guys. Settle down, eh? I have a surprise for you. You guys, did you see the new rules on the notice board? Yes, but I think that serves them right. Especially that conman Kilele. His food is not up to standard. Mm -hmm. As if you know how standards taste like. Hey, you, eh? You think you're the only experienced guy here? And who control that nagging attitude of yours? Or you'll be maybe sat by the teacher over there? Sensitive much? Poor people. What are you guys talking about, eh? Kilele is actually a very good man. The school board banned the selling of food within the school compound. Me, me I don't understand. Eh? Now what would I do if I'm hungry? You know I cannot go for a whole day without eating. You know there's outbreak of cholera, that's why my dear. I, me I doubt if it was food stuff. Who can tear pan food consumption? That can cause a very, very bad strike. And I say we need to strike Murume, eh? What else are we supposed to do? I think the school board of management comprises of very old waxed people, you know, na? And that is why I say this year, we need to do something, comrade. Comrade power. Comrade power. She's here. And you can strike because you cannot get food within the school compound. So just stay up a heavy meal before you come to school. Why strike over food for crying out loud? My thoughts exactly. What I meant is that I was hoping you guys were free this weekend. I wanted to give you a nice treat this weekend, eh? All you have to do is show up. Eh, at it show up where? At my place. I'm hosting a small party for us here and a few friends, eh? This will be a good way to bond, right? Uh, Atito, I'm sorry. I don't think it's a good idea given your condition. I mean, it's not... What condition? Hmm? I'm perfectly fine. Atito, that is what people in your condition say before they go by and by. Paralysis is a killer, my friend. No one nyakoremo is going bye-bye, eh? Should I count you guys in? Whose idea is this? Mine, of course. Does it matter? Hey, Murume Atito, when did you come up with this genius idea? Not long ago. About an hour ago. Uh, you know, Murume, in my thought, eh? You know you'll just uh, feed us one meal for only one day. I think this Kirere issue is more important now, Nona. So we should solve it now. That is very true, Osea Tito. Not that you are trying to avoid your infight. Uh, and again, if you would have told us a bit earlier... Um... It is okay, guys. Eh? I can take a no. It is fine. And that part of management is out of their minds. Just carry packed food just like I do. Now, if indeed there is cholera outbreak, what makes you think that the water in your house is safe? That is why you are advised to treat it before use. At least it is easy for you to treat water every time. You are used to medication. Sindion guys, 
I wish we had a strong student leadership. Eh? We could have terrorized the pot. Eh? We have rights, was it? Comrades power. Comrades power. Comrades power. I tell you, Cynthia, eh? we have rights. And we have rights for freedom of speech and food. You guys, did you hear about the Kirara situation? Oh, <laughs> poor man. <laughs> you guys are, are taking so much consideration into things that are meaningless. You old woman, eh? Open that stinky mouth of yours, and that sex dentist of yours will be smiling at you next. Eh? This is serious issue we're discussing here. You just came here the other day, now Konamdo. Shut up! Uh, that is why I brought you the canteen just next to your doorstep. <laughs> that way, you will never meet Haga eye to eye. <laughs> I earned your ending to please on soon. How can you even own a canteen? That can be a vocal days of the eye of the Honda. Come in. I wonder where you usually get these words from. Thank you. Do you want me to teach you? Eh, no, thank you. You just keep on keeping on. Uh, don't believe every rumor you hear out there. Eh? That canteen is very, very affordable and up to standard. And Ashinyanju, where is this place? The one outside the gate. That mama sells very good chapatis. You mean you don't know that place? Wait, you mean Kenyanju owns that place for real? This time it's true. Ashinyanju, yes, yes. Indeed, you are a vibrant businessman. Mm. You mean, regardless of the challenges, the different things you've gone through, you're still moving on? Hmm? In fact, you even own a chapati place. Ay, ay, I didn't know that part. And by the way, Nyanjui, mm. why are your chapos very expensive one? <laughs> it's more mind, eh? <laughs> Let me ask you, eh? How do you think this big and vibrant businessman make money? Ask Kenyanjui. <laughs> you have to keep moving. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, eh? Bala, <laughs> what happened to your hand? I needed to know you are diabetic. Fara is diabetic. Look at his hand. He is clearly in pain. Hmm. Ah, this is a grown-up man. Maybe he was practicing some hardball. No, but he looks like he's in a lot of pain, Juan. Uh, don't worry, my people. They say, no pain, no gain. And just like that, I'm getting there. Hey, Wasefara. What is going on with you? Hmm? This is not you. Uh, what, what do you mean? This is me. When you thought you were seeing a ghost. What is happening to you, eh? You, you know, one day you're so excited about going to the state house, the next minute you're barely catching up. What can I say, Waria? Life is not fair sometimes. Does Kenyanji have anything to do with the new you? You are flimsier than a one-day-old chick. I noticed that as well. Uh, by flimsier, you mean a smooth face, right? Yeah, thank you very much for noticing my smooth face. But um, my people, Ibalis, don't blame Kanyanchui. He has been very helpful of late. Well, that's new. You know, the state house did, did not materialize as quick as we thought. So when I, I, I moved out of the sister's house, I thought that I'll be rich and start to support myself. And God had other plans. We waited and waited and waited again for a state house invite, but it never happened. That is why Kenyanjui had to hook me up with the blessed to garage. Eh, uh, Far, are we talking about this same uh, Kenyanjui? Unfortunately, the sate in that new house did not last long. It happened that Maalimu owns that house, so Kenyanjui had to draw us outside since Maalimu wanted to use his house. I remember him telling Tija the house was under renovation. So, after I was thrown out, I had to look for a new palace. And why did you not go to Cecilia's place? I did, but he refused to let me in. Aye, but I was not serious. I was just trying to teach him a lesson. Is that the reason why you are not picking my phone calls? By then, uh, Julia had confiscated my phone. Julia, Dana? She found me in the street alone, shivering, and she took me in. Hey, I'm always scared of that woman. The next day, she sat me down and offered to better my life. She told me that the world will not accept a loser like me. So she will help me tighten up. Hey, what does that mean, my friend, Bona? You are tough enough. Ha, she said that Barison messed up my ego. That is why of lately I'm behaving like a girl. But then that is not true. Do you know why? Because you are very really melodramatic, my friend. What? Anyway, it is true. 
She is summoning me up to be a man enough uh, that the world will be ready for me. Farah, yeah. why did you do that? Uh, do what, madam? I told you to wait for me. Why did you leave before saying anything? And you left like a thief. I'm, I'm sorry, madam. The bag was too heavy. You, Julia, eh? Let this poor man be. What is your problem? Solomon! Solomon! Stay in your lane! Stay in your lane! Uh, uh, it is okay, Solo. Uh, she means well. Sakai and Kamene, can you please move back? Hey. What is wrong with this woman? Why are you mad at the whole world? I do not have time to explain my moods. You, Columbus, Ginene. Far, you know exactly what awaits you. I have been quiet far too long. I cannot allow this to happen on my watch. You crazy old man. Unless it is a rope you're asking for, I suggest you suck up your mouth. You. Come here. If this is not witchcraft, I don't know what it is. I, at this rate, Atito will have to tear his craziness pierced with this idiot. Go down and give me that. And I thought I was crazy. What kind of madness is this? Pala. Don't worry, Maluma will be here soon to protect you. He's our conveyance. Madam Julia, can you see Farah has such a dislocated arm? Eh? What are you up to? You're just piercing like uh, Mama Wakambo. Farah, do you agree with your friends? Uh, no, 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 Madam. The world has no place for losers. So, hit me now, thank me later. Ah. Oh my God, this is human torture. I cannot watch this anymore, please. Okay, this is weird. Or maybe Farah likes such kind of things. Ah, man up! Man up, Farah! Eh? How can you allow this woman to abuse you like this? Aye, how? No, Aye. Aye. How? Aye. Why are you not chatting? Stop it now! I'm just... I'm just... Stand up! Stand up! Stand up! Stand up. Ah. Ah. You did not have this tummy this morning. Did you eat something you said? Uh, uh, it is only that one table. Losers have no right to get hungry. Uh, you know what punishment awaits you? Uh, Belize, madam, can we just do this after the classroom? It is very humiliating. Who are you embarrassed of? This fellow losers. Go around the compound twice and come back for the lesson. Okay? Uh, I'm super problem. And the time starts now, 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 now. Hurry up. Hey. Farah, are you okay? What's wrong? Come on, come on. Put it on the chair. What happened here? Farah, you look like you're in a lot of pain. You want to report a case of APC here, Tija? Uh, I think you're confusing me with the police. You are the teacher. You have to hear us out. Ah, uh -uh. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, not today. Today is not the day for drama. Today... Julia is physically here and busy in Vala. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one, eh? I don't see how that is possible. We have just witnessed it. Teacher, if you must know, it was an agreement between me and Farah. I was just doing my part, sir. It is very thorough, Ma'alim. I personally ask for her help. How so, Farah? And if it has anything to do with your current situation, I don't think it's healthy. Ma'alim, it is very healthy. Julia has been very helpful. After what I went through in Barison, I wouldn't know that I will amount to anything. Hi, Farah. When what happened? She thought you were remanded. Unfortunately, you have to be put together with other inmates as you wait for your court cases to be completed. When I was got, I was transferred to the men's Barison. And on the gate, it was written, Kuingira Hesi Lakini Kutokangum. That is when I knew I was finished completely. You know, uh, Farah, I think you'll have enough time after the class to tell us your story, okay? Aye, Omami. Clearly this thing is affecting him. Allow him to get it off his chest. Hey, Morimo, you know, I hear it is very therapeutic to speak. And now, when big boys started calling me funny names like Wambo, Bobo, because of my long hair, that is when I knew this was not a bless for me. They were long because you don't look like a woman to me. Maybe a dumb boy. I don't think that is what they meant. I hear they do a lot of crazy things to weak people inside there. That is what I was helping him to break free of. Nobody should be bullying him this time around. Ah, your methods are a little too tough even for me. Uh, are you saying they hurt you while you're in there? 
and not only that ma'alim the worst part is that i could not see the darkness oh you must again the floodlights were always on at night the time was not moving ma'alim the days were long night were long and then night again and then day it was very long it was like a hell ma'alim day poor father i would go crazy too how is the craziness topic coming in here eh? I will not allow anybody to insult me any longer. Atito, calm down. Eh? It is not about you. At least you are short of food. Me, as long as I have my meal, I me can take any difficult situation. On the contrary, my friend, food is not to right at the jail. The key was moving very fast, and if the servers miss your bullet, it is it is over for you. They were just only saying, move, shonger, shika, toka, move, move, bitter, bitter. And if you select Ikidogo just like that, Afande Kobole will think that you want to protest and beat you up like hell. Hey, but Farah, you haven't gotten any food. That means you sleep on an empty stomach. That is very synonymous. Wah. That is your problem. Wah. In the prison, we used to have lies. The prisoners there, they call them Afande wa Usiku. And if you try, if you just try to kill even one jawar, one jawar, the inmate will start shouting, Naksha uwa fande, Naksha uwa inspector, Naksha uwa inspector, Naksha uwa koblo. Then they all come and beat you up. Me, I can never stand insects. Hey Murume, I hear it is even worse when you are going to court for your hearing. And when you go to court and there's inmates who want good taste of life, they will send you for, for their stuff outside the prison. But you rarely leave the lorry. How did you get these things? Uh, that is not their problem, and they don't want to know. As long as you bring them back with their contrabands. Did you offend yourself in that situation? I remember that day, I forced myself to smuggle four eggs inside the prison, and you know you cannot even use your hands. And where did you get to my eyes? I requested my mother to bring to me that day. Too bad they had to leave you. I think the most hurting part is when my family moved back to Mogadishu in Somalia. There was no one to visit me at the prison, no one to look after me, no one even to give me a goal. The loneliness almost made me kill myself. Murume, no visitors. So, so th that means even your family accepted your fate? Exactly! Uh, um, Farah, you know, it's, it's a good thing that all that is behind um, in the past now. But we're in the present, so people, <laughs> can we get back to studying, right? Thank you very much, Ma'alimu. You are my answered barrier. Yeah, 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 yes, you've said that many times. <laughs> and um, you should have put, put that now behind you. Eh? Forget about it, otherwise you won't be able to achieve much. Easy for you to say. I don't think I'll be the same again if I was in the Falas or Tlenja's shoes. On the day of my final hearing, I couldn't believe I was a free man. Well, I, I cry. I cried, I cried like a small baby. Okay, uh, uh, writing a proposal. Hmm? Uh, chapter one comprises of introduction. The introduction of your project proposal should be short and it should inform those reading the proposal about three things. A, what the project will accomplish. B, why the project should be undertaken. And C, how your project will help the company to achieve its goals. Two, a background of the study. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, okay. Just have to go. I'm not mm -hmm. there. Only my friend, people are crying for me. No, I didn't know. Uh, let me just advert my brother. Mm -hmm. Do not ever go to Barizon. Mm -hmm. Barizon yes. is not a good place. It's not a good place.